So we've seen with quadratics that we can take a cubic uh, with roots alpha and beta and then transform that so that we then have a new quadratic with um, a linear transformation with those roots. Okay, so we've, we're, well, it's not limited to a linear transformation, but we've seen that you can do that. Now we're going to do the same with cubics now. So we've got in this problem 8z cubed plus z squared take away 3z plus 1 equals 0. And it's got the roots alpha, beta and gamma. Find a new cubic equation with integer coefficients with roots 3 alpha, 3 beta and 3 gamma. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do with your cubic, just like we would have done with a quadratic, is divide it through by the coefficient of z cubed. We want to get 1z cubed. Okay. So we're going to have z cubed plus 1 eighth z squared, take away 3 eighths z plus 1 eighth equals 0. Now from this, we want to be able to write down the sum of the three roots, so alpha plus beta plus gamma. We want to be able to write down the sum of the product pairs, so alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. And we want to be able to write down the product of the three roots, so alpha, beta, gamma. Okay. Now, alpha plus beta plus gamma is the negative of the coefficient of z squared. So that's minus one eighth. This is the coefficient of z, so minus three eighths. And this is the negative of the coefficient of the constant term. Well, the, cons the negative of the constant term that we have, so minus one eighth. Okay. So negative stays the same, negative, OK? So from that, we can then say, right, well, these are the roots that I want to get to. So I'm going to need the sum of those three roots, OK? So 3 alpha plus 3 beta plus 3 gamma. Well, that's just three lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma. Now, alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus one eighth. So three lots of minus one eighth. And so we've got minus three eighths. So that first one's quite straightforward. The second part, OK, is to find the equivalent of this. So we need to have three alpha times three beta plus three alpha times three gamma. Just write that one up plus 3 beta times 3 gamma. So we've got 9 alpha beta plus 9 alpha gamma plus 9 beta gamma, which is 9 lots of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma, which is 9 lots of this, so the minus 3 eighths. So that's minus 27 eighths. And then finally, we have the product of our three new roots, so 3 alpha times 3 beta times 3 gamma, which is 27 alpha beta gamma. So 27 lots of minus 1 eighth is minus 27 eighths. And so we've got the three bits that we need. So the new equation will go z cubed, and then the negative of this, so plus 3 eighths z squared. This one doesn't change sign, so minus 27 eighths z. This one does change sign, so plus 27 eighths equals 0. We need to get uh, this to have integer coefficients. We're going to multiply everything through by 8. So 8z cubed plus 3z squared take away 27z plus 27 equals 0. OK, and so this is my cubic equation with integer coefficients that has those three roots. OK, now you can always double check this, right? On your calculator, if you pop this into, well, even that one, into your cubic solver, OK, so Let's try this out. So 8, 1, minus 3, 1. What do we get? OK. So I'm getting minus 0.7947. Right, the other two are complex. So uh, 0.3348 uh, 
uh, plus 0.2124i. And so I'd have the conjugate of that. Okay. So they're the three roots of the original equation. Okay. They're the roots alpha, beta, gamma. So what I need is for this one to have three lots of those. Okay. So what I'm expecting to get, so minus 0 0.7947 times by 3. So I'm expecting to get minus 2.3841 or close to that. And then... Uh, I'm going to put my calculator in the complex mode. So 0.3348 plus 0.2124i, uh, I'll times that by 3. So it's about um, 1.0044 plus 0.6372i, and the conjugate of that, complex conjugate. Okay, so if I now put... Uh, this one into my cubic solver, I should get those values or close to those values. So let's try that. 8, 3, minus 27, and 27. Fingers crossed, we get minus 2.3842470025. So, yeah, uh, we get 1.00462351, etc., plus 0.63. 739, yeah, yeah, okay, so that's confirmed it, okay, and so you can use your calculator to double check that you've got the correct answer at the end.